Got this hand up again, real quick, Brent. Uh, what you got, man? Uh, so for Jeff, just a quick question about California. I am in Monterey. Mm -hmm. uh, the values are much higher than most of the United States. Um, I hear you keep talking about properties you own in, you know, Pittsburgh and, and everywhere else. Um, should I be focusing away from my, my own market if the values are too high or is it work everywhere and it's not a big deal, whatever. It works everywhere, but with a real high value, it's a, a little bit higher risk and it may take longer. You know, there's, there's a huge cash market still here. There's still people hemorrhaging money in California that are willing to pay stupid prices for stuff. Now it's, yeah. it's not the case, you know, inland, uh, but you know, along the coast where you are. Yeah. Um, you know, you may want to look at, we, we like Texas. Texas is good. Um, you know, personally Blair and I are in the process of buying, uh, properties in the Midwest and Southeast, uh, you know, where prices are cheaper and demands good. So, you know, I would, I would look around at some other markets. Uh, it doesn't hurt, you know, especially okay. if you want to do deals more frequently. And it's as simple, you know, as looking, if you want to do this thing organically, you want to go check out a market, go, go to Craigslist. And you can just see yeah. what's available out there. Okay. And so when you go to do something like this, you find a boot on the ground, like a realtor <laughs> or a, a somebody, who do yeah. you generally task for that? Job. Well, like uh, we keep talking about the, the properties in uh, the Austin area that we're in the process of acquiring. I've got a realtor contact there and she's gone out and done her thing with them and, you know, gives us good intel. You can use anybody from, you know, a real estate agent broker to, you know, a kid with a camera. Depends on what you need them to do. If, if you've got a really good deal and you don't need to get really finite on, you know, what's a, a, a CMA uh, price on a house, uh, you know, kid with a camera that can go in, just like Blair described earlier in this call, you just need somebody to go in, you know, take pictures, uh, get the document signed and move on. They don't have to know anything about the deal. You can have everything signed. Uh, you know, you could theoretically do everything electronically. Uh, you can certainly do it by mobile notary. Um, I just, I'm not a big believer of doing anything locally just, just because I, I just know myself and I would love to get in a car and go look at that property. And the more you do of that, the less you can do of finding the next deal. And so don't do that. <laughs> you, <laughs> you get paid to find more deals, not to go look at properties and knock on wood. Yeah. So, and that goes back to something that I learned from our mentor, Blair and my mentor back in the late nineties, you know, we get paid to uh, pick up pens to write checks, not to pick up hammers and just don't do that. Yeah. Okay. You can't get any volume. You can't scale your business if you're a slave to going and looking at, at deals and talking to sellers in person, talk, meeting buyers and all that. If you do that, you can't, you're not going to ever scale your business.